What's up, everybody? It's Wings back again. Uh, another video on my daughter's 2013 Chrysler 200. Uh, this time we got the upper radiator hose. It's leaking around the radiator cap area. Plus, she's got a the little problem over here with the reservoir tank. The tube inlet tube is done melted. So um, we'll get that taken care of on another video. But right now we're just gonna get the radiator hose taken care of. Um, yeah, we'll get it turned around. Let's get it going. All right, it's getting kind of late in the day, so if the lighting gets bad, I do apologize. Had to kind of wait to the end because it's been a hot one today. Uh, as you see there, it's all white residue. I would cap off. It's kind of stuck. Uh, it's all just the ceiling nails broken. It's not keeping good uh, pressure. So as you see, it goes back to here, right over here, and then right over here and on one end over here see if I can get up in here Turn on my light there we go see that little nut right there it's either an eight millimeter or a flathead as you can see I'm gonna use a little eight millimeter wrench right here socket sorry wrench listen to me eight millimeter socket been a long day folks and i've got a couple other little tools here i got my pliers and stuff to be able to get the clamp off back there as you see there and then one thing i did forget to grab which i'll grab here in a minute is a little flathead because right here right in here just a little pop tab little rubber piece that holds down into this mount right there so there's the one. Make sure you get the right one. This is pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it comes with one piece. This was a little over 100 bucks. AutoZone. A new cap. And then this is the overflow. It's going to go here. It goes to here. But as y'all see on my daughter's right there, that's all melted and stuff. So we've got to get another tank in here. I'm going to have to order that in the morning. It should be here tomorrow evening. So maybe we'll do a little short video with that too. Uh, also, another video coming soon. We're going to get these cool packs and stuff replaced. Sorry, car coming by here. Give it a second. All right. We'll get the cool packs and plugs changed. In these which i've got those over here to the side that video should be uploaded soon not too soon after this should soon yeah let's go english is is difficult for me today being a dad and doing everything i'm doing had a job this morning doing some tie rod ends on the front end of my buddy's 97 dakota fortunately i wasn't able to record that didn't have time to he needed it done real quick so anyway Let's get started on uh, this upper radiator here. All right, we're up here on top. The clamp here. Get my channel locks here, vice grips, whatever you want to call them. And normally, I would drain the radiator, but this has been sitting a while. Move this. Probably could open it to the next next one, but we're gonna keep it where it's at. And I'm gonna try to save this clamp here to reuse on the new new hose. There's one down. Don't forget that other one. It's right back here. I, don't know, I can't see it now. There we go. Right there. There it is. So, let's see where we can't put this. I can't see it.
All right, we're going to have to make this quick because I'm running out of light and running out of battery on my phone. So let's get this up in here. dog copper back there go hound dog all right dog there i've already disconnected it from back here so this is where a little rubber piece i'm gonna need my flathead We're going to pause this real quick. Alright. So that's just a little rubber piece there. This will probably take some convincing, especially since it's got all this stuff around it. That's gone. Alright. So. Don't forget to take the old clamps if you already haven't got new ones. Off. So we can reuse them. Lighting that I have here. Sorry, ran out of daylight here. All right, so first, you want that hose. See if I can find it here. There we go. You want to slide up. And see where that goes on there. Okay, that's going to take a little effort getting on there. Then you want to put the clamp around it. So, see if we can get adjusted over there where y'all see me do that. There we go. can channel lock here probably could have done that at a better angle since I got my camera right there so let's see if I can't just hold it alright once again I got my handy dandy socket wrench here with 8 millimeter put one in here, here. snug and flush against the radiator. I'm gonna put this in a little bit better position for me to get future use. If anybody has to work on this in the future. Oops, make sure I go the right way. Now a flathead probably would be a little bit simpler here if, if I had the space. I don't really have the spaces, which is why I'm using a short rail, eight millimeter. Get it on there, tightened up to the point. Be the better correct word, but you don't want to over tighten it and break that rubber. See, I'm pulling on it, ain't nothing coming off. Right. Final step on the install of this get 
getting that back on here. Let's see. Did, see, I did both ends first. Just so I know it would slip in there good. Should pop. Yep. A little pop. See if we're good. It's snug now. Like I said, I'm running out of light here. So, I'm going to kind of finish probably the rest of this tomorrow. As far as I'm going to go and fill it up from the radiator cap. See, I went and took the reservoir tank out. So, we have to replace it. It's uh, sitting right over here. Uh, as you see, it's melted here on the end. Like, I'm literally holding it upside down. And nothing's coming out the end there. If you're wondering why that's dripping, it's coming from the lid. So, that was one reason why her pressurization went down in her car. And they ended up messing up her connection up in there off the old one. It was all eaten up and nasty. All this, all that up in there was eat away. So, I'm going to fill it up here. Uh, you can use 50-50 if you want. I, got, I get concentrate and split it between two bottles. So, I'm going to fill it up and let this sit overnight. You want to try to get the air or get the coolant in there. Uh, some cars, you have to burp the system. This one, you don't really have to because the way they got it set up, you got it this right in the middle. So, we got something's going to be fed down into the engine, shift it over there, and then the rest will go down into the radiator and finish filling it up. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that and let it sit overnight. And then tomorrow we'll get that coolant reservoir tank in. Probably make a little quick short video out of that. Because there's the hose that comes from there over to the reservoir for the overflow. So, appreciate it. Hope to see y'all next time. I have a couple more videos coming up soon. Cool packs of spark plugs for that. Maybe check out one of my other videos. I've got one for my... My Dodge Dakota sitting right there. A little scuffed up, but got a couple on it. Appreciate you looking at it. Maybe we have a couple on this Toyota Camry coming here soon. Sorry, Corolla. Always get that Toyota Corolla here. 2013 model. Uh, anyway, we'll see you next time. Love y'all. Be easy. Peace.